So today I've got some dental equipment I'm working on. It's one of those machines that shakes up the amalgam and they put it in this little holder right here. And let's see if I can get this thing to work. Show you what it does. There we go. Shakes up the amalgam before they had put that poison in your teeth. Anyway, just kidding. There's a lot of debate as to whether amalgam is so terrible or not. Uh, this thing came in here uh, intermittent. You'd push the start button and it's got a timer here that you you set the timer for however many seconds you want and it counts down and this thing shakes it for so many seconds well when the gentleman brought it in I noticed that the no matter how many seconds I set it for it would only come on for maybe one second and turn off and in this case I was looking over the controller board real carefully here and uh, or the timer board whatever you want to call it and I could see what appeared to be uh, water damage, a little, little discoloration around some of the connections. Now, uh, water can do a lot of damage and ruin things in a big way. But in this case, I thought maybe it, maybe it'll be all right because if I clean it up, that is because uh, it's a very low voltage circuit. I mean, this basically just pr provides a logic signal to turn on this motor over here, and so. Uh, I cleaned it up repeatedly. I took my air hose, I took tuner cleaner, I took uh, uh, rubbing alcohol, and I just kept cleaning and cleaning. And then I superheated everything here. I resoldered a few connections too, but I believe it might have been the cleaning part that got this thing working because when you're talking about such a low voltage, a uh, little middle roll deposit from the water between the two contacts here can really foul up the works. So anyway, it's a $700 unit, so they're obviously going to be happy with me when I tell them it's working. Alright, hope you found the video interesting. Thanks for watching, and if you like it, please give me a thumbs up.